to what used to be home Passing by those little towns I know so well Stopping for gas and then I'm behind the wheel again Driving this like a spiritual cleanse Where every mile is a new beginning And every bend holds a new end Eyes on the road, don't lose control I'm speeding fast to chase my soul I'm driving to get away Running through emotions high and low Holding on or letting go I'm fighting another day Neon lights in the fast lane light Riding high, reaching for the sky I had it all but lost and fell back down again game where every single day was a losing battle and every drink was a dead end eyes on the goal don't lose control i'm living fast i've lost my soul i'm driving to get away running through emotions high and low holding on a little Having departed uh, Bolthead Airfield on the uh, 29 runway, which is uh, in fact facing west, we're now heading uh, past Esau Farm and over to Solcombe to have a look around. To begin to pick up Exeter Air Traffic's automated uh, airfield information in just a minute. Passing over Sulcan Bar now, looking down at South Sands and North Sands, and we start to track along and uh, have a good look at uh, Sulcan Town as we go past. This is the first time I've used this camera with this particular outlook.
India at time 1150 from way in you 26 transition level flight level 40 that is wind variable 7 knot visibility 10 kilometers or more cloud few at 4500 feet temperature 2 2 you boys 8 you and h 1 0 2 4 hectopascals QFA 1 0 2 0 hectopascals advise information India and read that pressure setting that was a uh, weather automated weather report for Exit Airport uh, which is quite useful if you're flying in the area it, um, it just gives you a a basic idea of what uh, what's going on. And just looking down now onto Solcombe, there's a massive queue stretching from Ashby's heading right in towards Solcombe. So let's go and have a look and see what that's all about. Must be some traffic lights down there somewhere, I guess. Just what you need on a a busy July day. The queue must be, oh, a mile and a half, two miles long. Yep, this, uh, uh, looks like, oh, uh, not quite sure. Oh, yes, there's some traffic lights, I think. Oh, no, 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 there's a lorry jammed up in the, uh, in the narrow part. Oh, it looks like it's jackknife. Uh, that's going to be, uh, that's going to be a long, long wait. Do a traffic report now. This traffic doesn't look like it's going anywhere anytime soon. The lorries have got stuck, wedged in the narrow part of the lane. It looks like the, uh, the council refuse lorry and another big lorry. Oh my goodness me. What an absolute nightmare. The men are out trying to sort it out, but who knows what's going to happen. This could be chaos for some time. Wow. The things you see when you're flying around up here.
Old village down there. And just over in the distance there is the uh, is the airfield. Coming up to the Sawmill Cove Hotel, only recently opened after all the uh, COVID. Carry on. Quite busy. Just over there is the uh, is the airfield. Of course, the old wartime runways. Car park just down there was the intersection for the two wartime runways. It'd be a marvel if all this is recorded and you can understand it. Dolcom Town over there and it's uh, quite interesting to note how close the wartime airfield was Dolcom Town. Literally, the crow might fly half a mile. over the cliff edge here. I've been quite disconcerting.
another marvel. I've managed to get back on the ground in one piece. Uh, always quite an achievement, I feel anyway. Quite handy that you can get back on the ground without hurting yourself. Little bit of a crosswind there. Shot for it is fucking uh, too nice.